Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is the part 4 on the solution of nanometry and application of the year 2021. Today, I want to discuss question number 9 and 10. You can see the total question paper. This is question number 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this is question number 9 and 10. In the upcoming session, we will be call, uh, cover up the question number 11, 12 also. In the question number 9, it says for a rectangular potential barrier you need to show that approximate expression of transmission coefficient will be like that where k square equal to this one this is actually quantum mechanics uh, question on the based on the quantum mechanics uh, you know the boundary value problem in the quantum mechanics in the Schrodinger equation will be like that time independent Schrodinger equation in this three region this is the potential barrier in this potential barrier is potential is vg naught there is region 1 region 2 region 3 the, wave or the particle with energy e which is less than v naught that is the uh, that's why this is tunneling effect actually happening otherwise this will be transmitted like this. so in case of the uh, tunneling effect this e must be less than the potential barrier so in the region one that is potential is zero so the expression or the Schrodinger equation will be like that and the corresponding differential equation is this one and this is the similar to region 3 also but in case of similar region 2 there is a potential v naught so expression will be different so the solution of these three equation will be like that and in this uh, three equation there is no reflection part though that's why there, there is no negative part also so the constant a b c d f can be obtained using the boundary condition that is psi x that is the wave function is continuous at the two point that x equal to 0 and x equal to a at this two point wave function is continuous and the differentiation of this wave function d psi dx also continuous so if you apply this uh, condition uh, uh, along these three uh, wave function uh, psi x is continuous and d psi dx also continuous so these two are equal like that so finally we will be obtain this a b c d value in terms of f so the incoming current density this is reflected current density this is transmitted current density so transmission coefficient will be like that transmitted current density by incident so this is f by a square so this is nothing but f by a star into f by a so f by a can be obtained like here 1 by whole things so this is 1 by whole thing star means complex conjugate and this one this two multiplication is 1 and this is a plus b into a minus b that's a square minus b square but here is i square or i to square that's why this is plus 1 so you'll be obtained this one so cos square uh, cos hyperbolic square is nothing but 1 plus sine hyperbolic square so this gives you this expression so finally uh, finally we will obtain this expression and uh, just put this value of k and k1 k and k1 this is the value of k and this is the k1 put this value k and k1 in this expression will be finally easily obtain this expression okay i think you can do this calculation very well no problem after that if you consider the boundary condition that is ka is very much greater than a if k is very much greater than a then sine hyperbolic k also very much greater than let's say the addition of one <coughs> sorry with this one gives you this one and here this is neglected so finally you will obtain this one so it will be after this one and this needs to be put clear Next question says write down the principle of scanning tunneling microscope. Scanning tunneling microscope is nothing but the tunneling effect. Just before we just uh, think about tunneling effect. So here the tunneling effect actually happened from electron tunneling. Electron are tunneled and scan on the side. Well, this is the basic principle. Here written here that is working principle is the quantum tunneling. When a conducting tip, this is the conducting tip. Uh, brought near the surface of the metal this is a metal or the semiconducting surface and apply the bias voltage this is a tunneling voltage and then this voltage difference the electron are transmitted electron are tunneled because there is a potential difference they are not contact there is a air air so there is a potential difference just before before question we just discussed so these uh, uh, barrier are overcome this tunneling effect so 
the distance or the gap is different so after that their current will be different and this current can be converted into images form so these are written here you can read down and note down this thing to your explanation next question say draw the schematic diagram and explain the operation of scan electron microscope SCM scanning electron microscope there is main things electron gun this is anode this is electromagnetic lens this is scanning coil and this is backscatter electron detector that is objective lens then this is monitor this electron gun gives you the high energy electron beam this anode gives you the uh, along the uh, unidirectional or these uh, as a beam there are two condenser lens condensed scanning coil if you rotate the scanning coil these point of this uh, electron beam actually change with the changing of the point of the electron beam you can easily scan the all this whole this sample and there is objective lens where the backscatter electron are observed actually when you uh, light on a wall this reflected light gives you the information of the wall similarly here the electron which ejected here and backscatter which scattered by the atom that means it reflects it reflects the information of the sample that's why the, we need to backscatter electron here actually different types of electron originated during this interaction of this electron with the sample that is the uh, secondary electron uh, that is secondary backscatter electron other electron frozen x-ray backscatter electron characteristic x-ray continuous this type of electrons are originated from this interaction of the uh, incoming electron with the sample but you need to take about the backscatter electron which is scattered from the sample that it gives the information of the sample okay so i think clear about this thing next question say discuss about the limitation of the scm surface of character nano flame of nano surface here the limitation is uh, like that it's 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 uh, need to coating the sample it's need to vacuum because it's uh, within environment it react because the electron react with environment you need to coating the sample if this is non-conducting if this is non-conducting charge are accumulated there and it's uh, reflect back the electron though so there is no production of the backscatter electron which gives does not gives the information of the sample you need to in case of uh, conducting sample the metal conducting sample the conduct to the sample and different get secondary electron and image are black and white and operation analysis requires special training as it is so in case of nano flame or nano surface the acm has a limitation it cannot as uh, obtain the nano sized uh, grain size etc etc this actually obtained from the tem transfer uh, transmission electron microscope that means when the electron transmit through the flame then you get information about the nano structure but when this information uh, you, you, you from the ACM you did not get the information about this so I think clear about this uh, in the next uh, video we will be discuss about question 11 and 12 also this is all about me this is my contact details this is my youtube channel details so that's it for today we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you